five, four, three, two, one, ignition, and liftoff of the Atlas V rocket with MRO, surveying for the deepest insights into the mysterious evolution of Mars. angles for the early portion of this four minute burn. MRO has MRO. MRO has begun the pitch maneuver. Engine performance continues to look very good. MRO has now begun flying the zero angle attack phase of flight. Vehicle rates look good. Current acceleration level is 1.4 G's. Ten years after launch, and uh, not bad for a mission whose prime mission was to be two years of science followed by two years of relay for a four-year mission. Well, we've doubled that now in Mars orbit. Mars isn't a dead world. It is changing, even today. It changes on diurnal cycles during the day. It changes from season to season and it changes from year to year. We're also beginning to see some of the details of that, but the ultimate thing, Mars is a complex place. This has been one of our major uh, discoveries, is the variety of environments, of water environments, that occurred very early in Mars history. We think that gives Mars a much better chance, for instance, to be not only a habitable place, but a place that might actually, where life might have gotten a start because there were many choices of environments that could help support it. So what's up next? Well, there are other missions to come. The next one up is InSight, which will be launched early next year. That's a fixed lander in the sense that once it lands on Mars, it'll stay in that place but it's trying to look into the interior of the planet, 
One of the things that MRO does is to watch those critical events when they're landing, records the data as they go down through the atmosphere, and quickly takes an image afterwards to show, hey, there it is, it's where we expected, 